Yo, yo, yo! Hey, I'm Owen Oliver, and I help web agencies take their uh, Joomla skills to the next level. Today I'm going to tell you what icons are available in Joomla by default. So I'm going to take you through the icons you see in Joomla. So you find them in places like this. You see uh, there's users here. Uh, you'll see that if you go to menus, there's a different one. It's up here. Uh, this is an icon as well, the Joomla icon. And then you go to articles, and you see there's this one. So I'm going to show you how to create these art these icons in Joomla and how to choose from the ones that are available. So I'll take you into some code and uh, I will just whack in, oh, I'll whack in here, span class equals icon hyphen, I'll have heart because it's in my thing, and I'm going to close the span and that's all I need to do. I'll now upload this. I I'm in... Um, I'm in uh, a Joomla layout, it doesn't matter which one I'm in to be honest with you um, but you can see here I've put the heart there uh, so now if I go back here and I can change it and I don't want heart so I will use Joomla for example and then I will upload it and then you'll see when I refresh the icon should change we hope so there you see now we've got a Joomla icon here So. That's a really cool and easy way to put icons into your modules, your components, and everything like that. Uh, and all you're doing is a span with the class of icon hyphen whatever. So first things first, when you're creating your components in the back end, this is the toolbar uh, above the toolbar, and you can stick the icons there. And that's just putting these icons in your XML. So a really easy way to do that. But let me show you how to find them. There's this page on Joomla, and it's basically um, Echo Moon fonts is what we're looking for. So if we look, we're on the, the docs of Joomla, and then we're on Joomla underscore standard Echo Moon fonts. So if you if you were to Google Joomla standard Echo Moon fonts, that would probably come up in Google. Um, so let's have a look. Here's the instructions of how to do it, as I've just showed you. Uh, I suspect that out of the box, if you put large icon, it would work. I'm not going to test it here, but if it doesn't work, then you just use this font size to control your icon size. And here's a list of all of the icons you can use. So, again, I'll just zoom in and show you some of them. There's plenty there. Uh, you could find use for a lot of them. Um, and Joomla has done throughout the, the dashboard. You'll, you'll see these being used. This is used for the menu. Uh, or maybe that is, but uh, but these are used throughout, so you will see them. Um, anyway, I hope that's been helpful. You can use these in your components and your modules. Uh, you could even use them in a custom HTML module if you really wanted to. Just be aware that sometimes with an empty span, it will get removed from your tiny MCE editor. So you need to either turn off the editor or find a way around that. I think uh, a non-breaking space might fix it, so you could test that. Uh, if not, you might put a dot and then colour it in a different way so it can't be seen or something like that. Um, but that's that's how you find the articles to use, uh, the icons that you can use, and that's how you use them in Joomla. So I hope that helps you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe down here. Um, you've got an option to like and follow me on social, which is uh, always appreciated. Not only that, do we always sharing a lot of stuff. Um, if you want to be featured, I'd love to talk to some people live or in a video about Joomla. So, uh, you know, if you want to be featured, if you've got an idea that you want to learn and you don't know how to do it, or a question about any of my videos, um, just get in touch via the contacts or via the website. Thanks for listening.